What do you do when it's a rainy day in London? Don't get down. You do live in London after all. Just invite some friends over. And if you're lucky, they make really good cocktails. Hi guys! Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> this is John and Carrie. I like our little like morning show setup. We have yes. very morning yeah. shows. These are friends of mine from our New York days, although they are no longer in New York. Neither am I, obviously. Where are you guys now? We're in San Francisco, making drinks out in California. And they just came out with a new cocktail book, Be Your Own Bartender. It is a flowchart cocktail book. Should we take the book for a test drive? Yes, let's take the book for a test drive. All right, so London day drinking, I'm thinking gin. I love gin, I think that is a solid, solid choice. And we have a whole flowchart to help you pick your gin drinks. This is so fun. So, all right, Katie, I'm gonna put you through this. Okay. Our drink is the Pims Away. Let's make some drinks. All right. Pims? That's very English. Gotta get the gear. This is like the Pimp My Pims Cup. Pimp My Pims, Pims Cup is what we're doing. That is exactly what it is. <laughs> a classic Pims Cup. There's no spirit in it, but we wanted to do a drink that was a little more souped up and of course still distinctly British. So we're using Beef Eater, which is um, a London dry gin. You know, you can't really get more classic London than that. We're gonna do the souped up version. Fresh ginger in it. Yep. Some strawberry. Cucumber. Mint. Mint. Fresh lemon juice. Yeah. Um, let's do ginger beer okay. instead of like ginger ale so that it's like ginger. <laughs> this is like per drink. It's like a quarter of an inch thick. And fresh cucumber in a drink just gives it so much lightness, brightness. We made the slice for the muddling for the cucumber that's in the drink, but now we want to make the garnish uh, for the cucumber. And garnish is all about um, sex appeal and aromatics. We're gonna need a strawberry that's gonna go in the drink and then strawberry for garnish. That'll sit in the glass. Cause what we're gonna do eventually is we're gonna make a pretty little picture in the drink of all these things. And are you trying to show off and impress someone? Are you trying to just do an easy drink for a party? Are you trying to impress someone is very key in drink making. That's actually how we met. <laughs> you showed off. <up. laughs> the drinks were really good. We just need a little lemon juice for this drink, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Sometimes there can be seeds in here, so I just take a fine mesh strainer again, like from the kitchen store, strain it through. Yeah. How did you guys come up with the flow chart? She came up with it. I did it, sure. So we've had a cocktail column for Food & Wine Magazine for their website for four years, weekly. So we're now on probably our 200th, 200 and something yeah. column. So we're inventing cocktail ideas all the time. One of the things I always tell people is if you wouldn't eat it, don't garnish with it. This is already smelling really good. Mm. Aromatic. Aromatic. Have you ever done the smell it then, smack it and then smell it again? Oh. Yeah, right. it smells like mint. Minty. Smell mint. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more minty, right? What? Like, now you can smell the mint from over here. Yeah, I'm like taking a shower in mint right now. Right. Hey, hey, hey. Want to Yeah, that's it. Just give a little smack. We need three pretty sprigs. John always uses the term bouquet of mint, which yeah. I think is a great way to describe it, because you don't just want a, a leaf or two. You want a bouquet. But I always think the first experience of a drink is what it looks like. And what's the second? What it smells like. Also garnish. And then there's the journey of drinking it. We have made all our garnish. Yay! Is it cocktail time? It is cocktail time. Let's make a drink, Carrie Jones. All right. We are going to now muddle one side is rough and one side is flat and rounded. Um, that's pretty typical of most muddlers. Something like uh, fresh ginger, you really gotta whack it to break it up. Whereas something like uh, strawberry, you don't need to smash, smash, smash. You can just use the softer side and just press. Some things you wanna press and some things you wanna smash. So the harder it is, the more you need to smash it. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. We start with the ginger because you can't over muddle ginger. So we got the ginger in there. Now the next hardest su substance we have is the cucumber. Next, we're gonna put in the strawberry. Uh, I don't have to smash, smash, smash because it's strawberries. I can just press on. For the mint. Some people muddle mint. We don't because in the stem, there's chlorophyll and chlorophyll is bitter. And so if I really work out all that chlorophyll, I'm just making the drink bitter. All right, so we muddled. So we're gonna put a quarter ounce of the simple syrup in there. Then we, we made a little fresh lemon juice, right, with our hand press. Um, we're gonna do a quarter ounce of that as well. Hint of acid, which is gonna just brighten it up. Beef eater. Made in London, has been for more than 100 years. And then we have our pims and an ounce. Uh, so we have our glass here. We've iced it ahead of time, so it's ready to go. 
then we put ice in our cocktail shaker. So you have your small cocktail shaker, which is what I built the drink in, and then you fill the big one up with ice. This is technical. This is the big shaker, the big tin, small tin. And you take the little one that's got all the booze and fruit and everything and pour it into the big one that's got the ice. And then you give it a little tap and that creates a seal. That's physics for you right there. You gotta like get a little loose, bend your knees, get down on it and then you shake it. Hi Carrie, how are you? I'm shaking. I'm shaking. So we take our fine strainer that we use to make the juice and we do what's called double straining. Ginger beer. And now you have your Pims away. Cheers. 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 Pims away. Pims away. I mean, it's a good drink. Oh, it's so good. Tell these fine folks what not to forget. Keep, Keep it, it quirky. quirky. Always. And the drink that made her marry me. Which one is it? Also true. It's called the Presbo. The Presbo. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna make this for Connor and like see what happens. <laughs> Get remarried. Get remarried. Get remarried. Get remarried. Get remarried.